journey, just mixing it up a bit. Next week, we can do Little Church from whatever room you want. All you need to do is have your parents send in your votes to Megan about what room we should have Little Church in. And I'll make it happen, okay? Well, this week we're going to keep learning about Jesus' instructions to his disciples. And particularly about how and why he wants them to do all the things he's been teaching them. And I thought that we might play a game where you have to follow some instructions. What do you think? Do you want to join in? It's a game lots of you are familiar with, but I have to warn you, I play it pretty fast. That's right, it's Simon Says. I'll give you some instructions, and if I say Simon Says, you have to copy. But if Simon doesn't say, then you aren't meant to do it. Let's practice. Simon says, put your hands on your head. All right, make sure you have your hands on your head like this, because Simon said. All right, put your hands on your shoulders. Are your hands on your shoulders? They shouldn't be because Simon didn't say. Let's play for real now. You ready? Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your head. Did you put your hands on your head? Oh, then you're out because Simon didn't say. Okay, Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Simon says, put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your knees. Did you put your hands on your knees? Simon didn't say. All right, Simon says, put your hands on your knees. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Simon says, put your hands on your shoulders. Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your head. Did you put your hands on your head or did you, were you clever enough to leave them on your shoulders? Make sure too, Simon knows that some people like to close their eyes to make it easier. But Simon says make sure you keep your eyes open the whole time. Alright, let's go. Put your hands on your head. <gasps> Simon didn't say. Alright, Simon says put your hands on your head. Simon says put your hands on your shoulders, put your hands on your hips. Simon says put your hands on your hips, Simon says put your hands on your knees, Simon says put your hands on your hips, Simon says put your hands on your shoulders, Simon says put your hands on your hips, Simon says put your hands on your knees, Simon says put your hands on your head, put your hands on your shoulders. Okay, you better not have your hands on your shoulders, back to your head. Alright, getting out of breath. Simon says put your hands on your shoulders, Simon says put your hands on your hips, put your hands on your knees. Nope, not meant to. Alright, put your hands on your knees. No, it's still not meant to. Simon didn't say. Okay, Simon says put your hands on your knees. Simon says put your hands on your shoulders. Simon says put your hands on your head. Simon says put your hands on your shoulders. Simon says put your hands on your knees. Are your hands on your knees or your hips? Did I trick you there? They should be on your knees. Simon says put your hands on your hips. Simon says put your hands on your shoulders. Simon says put your hands on your head. Simon says put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your head. It's got to still be on your shoulders. You guys are really good at this game. Simon says put your hands on your hips, Simon says put your hands on your knees, Simon says put your hands on your hips, Simon says put your hands on your shoulders, Simon says put your hands on your knees, Simon says put your hands on your shoulders, Simon says put your hands on your knees, Simon says put your hands on your head, put your hands on your knees. Still on your head. Oh, alright guys, you guys have been so good at this. Well now, Simon says go and get your Bibles and sit down because my friend Francis is going to come and read to us. Thanks Francis. The promise of the Holy Spirit. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be, be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more but you will see me and because I live you will live when that day comes you will know that I am in my father and that you are in me just as I am in you those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me my father will love those who love me I too will love them and reveal myself to them Judas said Lord how can it be that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world Jesus answered him 
Those who love me will obey my teaching. My father will love them, and my father and I will come to them and live with them. Those who do not love me do not obey my teaching, and the teaching you have heard is not mine, but comes from the father who sent me. I have told you this while I am still living with you. The helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Peace is what I leave with, leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world, world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am leaving, but I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for he is greater than I. I have told you this now before it all happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I cannot talk with you much longer, because the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father. That is why I do everything as he commands me. Come, let us go from this place. Do you have a pet? How do you know what your pet loves? Do they tell you? Hi, Megan. I love playing ball. Play it some more. That would just be weird. No. Our pets show us what they love by their actions. This is my sister's dog, Emma. I wonder if you can guess what it is that Emma loves. Have a watch. Emma, what have you got? Emma, are they ice cream cones? Emma loves food. Did you get it? She showed us that she loves food by her actions. I wonder what your actions show that you love. Well, today we are back in John chapter 14. And again, Jesus comforts his disciples and their troubled hearts. Have a listen to one of the things that Jesus said. Jesus said to them, if anyone loves me, he will obey my teachings. Oh, that doesn't sound like a comfort to me. It sounds more like a threat, like an angry parent. If you love me, you better obey me. Just do what you've been told. But let me assure you, Jesus isn't the angry parent yelling at their kid. No, Jesus is saying to his disciples, hey, I love you. And if you want to love me too, you can show me by obeying the things that I have taught you to do. I wonder whether when you heard his words to his disciples, you thought, Ooh, I better obey God so that he loves me. I've thought that before. But God doesn't want us thinking that if we obey him, that he will love us. We obey him not so that he loves us, he already does. In fact, he couldn't love us anymore. We do what he says to show him that we love him. But we don't always do a good job of this. I know I don't. And the Bible calls this sin. Listen to what the Bible says about sin in John 1 John chapter 1 verse 8. It says this. If we claim that we are without sin, then we are fooling ourselves. The truth is not in us. There are no 
super believers that never sin. Not even Jesus' closest friends. They were just normal people. They weren't some super obedient group of people. No. They failed to love God and to do what he says just like us. So my question is this. Are we ever able to show God that we love him by what we do? Well, Jesus knew that for us to love like him would be really hard and that we needed all of the help that we could get. And the help that he gives us, well, it's not some self-help book. The help that he gives us is a person. Jesus goes on and promises the disciples to give them his spirit to live within them. The Holy Spirit helps us remember Jesus and helps us follow the teachings that he has given us. The Holy Spirit helps us show love by doing what God says. Do you love Jesus? I'm sure that you do. Do you think that Jesus loves hearing you say, I love you? I know that he does. But even more, he loves it when we show him that we love him. How do we do that? Well, the Bible tells us, if anybody loves me, he will obey my teachings. The Bible is full of things that Jesus taught us. And you show him that you love him by obeying those things. And Jesus has given us the help that we need to do that. He has given us his spirit so that we can try and love him by showing him by our actions. Little church, let's love Jesus. Let's show him that we love him with our hearts with our lives, with our everything. My friend Roger is going to lead us in a song right now that's all about that. Why don't we join him in singing about our love for Jesus, our King. G'day kids, g'day little church, g'day mums and dads. My name's Roger. Welcome to church today. Hi Aldo. Hi Aldo's mum. This morning we're going to sing a song that talks about how good it is to know God. It's called, What Can You Give to the King Who's Got Everything? And I've got a special helper who's going to help me with the actions. Here's how the song goes. What can you give to the king who's got everything? What can you give to Jesus? What can you give to the king who's got everything? What can you give to Jesus? Give him your heart. Your NGA RT, give him your heart. Your NGA RT, give him your heart. Your NGA RT. Your heart, your life, your everything. Let's do it one more time, shall we? What can you give? Five, six, seven, eight. What can you give? The king has got everything. What can you give to Jesus? What can you give? Give him your heart. 
heart. Your H-E-A-R-T, give him your heart. Your H-E-A-R-T, give him your heart. Your H-E-A-R-T, your heart, your life, your everything. Hi everybody, my name's Danny. Um, I'm sitting here in my office at home, um, like you, staying at home at the moment to make sure I take care of myself and other people that I love. Um, and I am going to pray for us, lead us in prayer um, this morning for Little Church. So uh, why don't you bow your heads and close your eyes um, as we pray to God together. Dear God, thank you that you sent Jesus to live and to die, to rise again, to forgive our sins, to give us new life and to make us friends with you again. Thank you that after Jesus died and he rose to life and he went to be with you, that you didn't leave us alone, but that you sent your spirit to live amongst us and to live in us. Thank you that your spirit helps us that the spirit is called the helper, that he helps us to know who you are, that he helps us to understand the Bible when we read it, to know more about Jesus. Thank you that the spirit helps us to know how you want us to live and then helps us to live that way. Father, please help us to listen to your spirit. Please help us to let your spirit guide us and direct us and make us more and more like Jesus in the way that we live and the things that we say. Father, thank you that you didn't leave us alone. Even now when sometimes we feel particularly lonely or we have to stay at home, when we're missing our friends, when we feel a bit unsure and a bit sad, thank you that your spirit is always with us, that he always helps us and he makes us more and more like Jesus. We pray these things to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Danny. Isn't it great having so many different friends come and join us at Little Church? That's all we have time for this week, but I hope you had fun and are feeling ready to love Jesus this week with all your heart and all your life and all your everything. Don't forget to send your votes to Megan for what room you want Little Church in next Sunday and we will see you then. For now I'm going to leave you with some very cute pictures of some of the Little Church pets. Bye!